Okay, we're going to learn how to make this beauty. This is a trinket boss made from one Dollar Tree frame, two Walmart frames, and some extra stuff I had laying around the house. Y'all ready? Let's go. Okay, so this is how we're going to start with the camera until we get into it. I'm going to raise the camera up when I do something that, that needs to be seen. So... Um, the first thing I, I did was I took the back off the frame. This was a shadow box from um, Dollar Tree. Shadow box from Dollar Tree. Oh, it was Tree. so cute. I was going to make a good shadow box out of it. But once I took it apart, I noticed that the glass would be under there. So I took it loose and I was going to take the glass and put it on the front like this. However, it does not fit. Um, it fits in there, but it's sticking out on side. I don't know if you can see that's not a perfect fit because it goes on the inside where there's a ledge. So it's not a perfect fit. So this glass is not going to do me any good right now, so I'm going to remove that. So what I did was I got two picture frames, and these are the picture frames from Walmart. they like um, 95 96 cents or something like that, less than a dollar. So I got these two picture frames from the um, Walmart because I guess I was going to do a shadow box, but I have changed my mind. I will be doing... A jewelry box. All right, all right, all right. Let's see if we can make this vision come too. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint these handles, well, knobs, and I'm going to glue this in place because them two things I know that's going to happen regardless of what the final outcome is going to be. So I'm going to paint these This color, and this is Caribbean, I believe. Yeah, Caribbean Apple Barrel. <clears throat> it's the closest one I have to this color. And the second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this glass and be very careful with the glass that you take out of these picture frames from the Dollar Tree and Walmart. They're very thin and they're very sharp on them corners. So be very careful. I'm going to clean the glass with alcohol. Then I'm going to put it back in this spot right here. And I'm going to glue it down, okay? So I'm going to use a little bit of hot glue, which I need to plug this in. The Lord have mercy. A little bit of hot glue and a little bit of um, either E6000 or Gorilla Glue. I got both of them out. I got some glue dots, and these are non-permanent, so these are removable. And I'm gonna put the dot on there so it won't flip over as I'm as I'm um, painting. Okay, so I'm gonna actually. All right, and if you don't have dots, you can use like some glue. You should be able to pop it off because it shouldn't take you that long to paint if you're going to be doing buttons like this. I mean, not button knobs like this. It shouldn't take you that long to paint them, but you don't want them falling over while you're trying to do them. So I'm going to see if this will hold it up. This was my idea to hold it up. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paint this. Put a little paint in my medicine cup. That's way too much paint. <laughs> And then I'm just going to brush the paint on there and let it dry, okay? So I'll be back. Okay, okay, okay. I just thought of something <clears throat> as I was doing this. It would have been better to have the button, I mean, the handle side down and do the stem first. Glue the handle side down and do the stem first and the underside and all that. Because now I done did the top. Now I got to go all the way under here 
I mean, I can do it because I'm just going to flip the plate upside down and do it, but it would have been so much easier had I did it the other way. Just thought I'd tell you that so you'll know to do it when you do one of these. Okay, now that we got that done, it definitely don't have to be fully, you know, it's okay that it's some little light spots because I'm definitely going to cover it with something. If I need to come back and put some more paint on there, I will. I could have spray painted it, but my spray paint, it was too far off for me. So I had this acrylic paint, so I decided to paint it. The spray paint was a little on the another level okay so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to glue this in here i'm put a little water on here so get my brush clean the glue gun is still uh, warming up in the meantime let me get some stuff straightened up and i shall be back Okay, I'm going to get some alcohol, and I'm going to clean the glass very carefully, okay? So, I'm just going to go around, then I'm going to place the frame in there, and then I will put it, hit it with some hot glue. Oh, my stomach ground. Okay, so I know I put a lot of hot glue in there, but the reason being, this is going to be upside down and I just don't want it to um, want it to fall. So I see some glue strings. I'm going to go ahead and clean these glue strings up. Making sure it's in there. Okay, okay, I'm back. So what I did was get the Walmart frames done. I did both of them. I put the um. And did I put a lot of glue? No, that's the second layer. Okay, so I glued it down with E6000. It wasn't sitting exactly right to me, so then I came back with the hot glue gun and put some beads of glue on the outside of it so it can stick in there. You do your glue the way you do your glue. Just make sure you have it secure because it'll be upside down. The same with this one. I'd rather have too much than not enough. Plus, the way I'm putting it at is not showing. So, what I'm going to do now is try to figure out how I'm going to fix this tray to finish it. And I will be back. All right. So far, we have glued. The original shadow box together. We glued the two picture frames from Walmart together, cleaned the glass. I have uh -oh. painted the chunky glitter, the um doorknob, cabinet knobs, that's what they are. Cabinet fools. And I'm uh have cut the bottom this is going to be the bottom i'm going to use this spray adhesive i ain't used this in a long time i hope it don't mess it up okay i'm back let me show you this 
So I used the uh, um, spray. You can tell where I picked it up and had to put it back on there. However, the diamond's gonna be on top of it, so we won't be able to see that. I just um, I put it on sideways while I was trying to run my mouth. So let's see how this looks. So I'm thinking I'm going to keep the diamonds. Um, hopefully they'll have some more of these trays. These right here. Um, shadow boxes at the Dollar Tree. Somebody told me they had a lot of them at theirs. They just didn't have that many at mine. I um, definitely forgot about that gold up there. I'm not too... I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. I don't. I don't really like that gold right there. Some of these things are laying flat. You might just have to work the little diamonds around. Not a problem. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Wait a minute, we got one, one stuck right there. And so, I'm going to take these. Let it blow on my hand. Come down there. Put these down here, I believe. That'll work. See the stuff sticking to my hand? I wanted them mixed up. I was going to put some smaller ones in there. But my smaller ones are flat back and I don't think they would look good. There we go. Flush all the way around. So I'm gonna glue this on. And I'm thinking I don't know how that would look. Dang, I wish I would have remembered that. I don't like that gold with all this silver. I should have put gold at the bottom. I'm going to take it off and clean it and put gold at the bottom. Because it ain't going to look right with the silver. Give me a minute. I'm going to put you on pause right quick while I clean this up. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit of acetone so I can break up some of that adhesive and get it off of here. And then I'm going to cut the gold. I have some gold glitter paper. I'm going to put the gold on here instead of the silver. I forgot it had that gold um, ledge on it. So I'm going to have to go ahead and play up the gold. This is going to take me a minute to break down this um, adhesive on here. Could have just went and got the gooby gone, so that's probably what I end up doing. So I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna clean this up and I'm gonna cut another piece to go on the bottom. Um, 4.25 by six and a half. Okay, I got it all cleaned up, changed. I put the gold instead of the silver because of the gold on this part. So I decided to put some pixie lights in there. So what I'm going to do, this is plastic. I'm just making a little cutout right here for my wire to go through. And I'm just using my X-Acto knife. Slice down through it. Then just push it out. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do what I'm doing, and we'll get this thing finished. Make sure that's where I want it.
Okay, now I'm just going to be affixing the pixie lights. I used a hot together. glue gun. I put it around the rim of the blue picture frame. And on the white picture frame with the gold under it, I just glued it straight on the glass part in strategic places. You'll see that um, the glue doesn't hold the pixie lights until it dries. When it's still wet, it comes out. So I used a screwdriver to kind of hold it down as I was putting the glue on there. It only takes a couple of seconds for it to dry. And that's all I did all the way around. Now that I have the pixie lights on, I'm going to go ahead and put the acrylic diamonds back on and set it up to attach the frames. I attached it using E6000 and hot glue. Once I attached it, I put on rubber bands to put pressure until it dried. I let it dry about two hours. Okay, okay, okay. I am back and I'm going to reveal this. So I put the handles on. They're still wet. Okay, I put the gold because of the gold at the top. I blinged it and put some lights inside. Now you can bling around the side. I'm not a blinger, okay? I'm not a blinger. I put the um the battery box at the back. On the bottom, I put caulk, cork. I don't know why I keep saying caulk. Cork board, and they sell that at the Dollar Tree also. Now, what you can do, I got you started. So, what you can do, and I'll probably do etch this glass right here, maybe um chanel maybe um tiffany and company also i would probably etch this on the back of this i didn't finish so on the back of this i'm gonna put a glitter card stock also so i just got you started to show you what you can do with these three frames you can Bling it the way you want to. Make it whatever color. This is just a shadow box frame with two regular frames. One on the top and one on the bottom. Get any color you want. I think this is so cute. The lights in it are cute. Oh, oh and it's a trinket box. So, you'll put it on the top. Once I put the back on there, I put it on the top. Pretty nice. Because this is actually a little bit bigger than that. I just haven't figured out what I'm going to put on the top of it yet. Uh, yes, yes. I, I actually like it. Maybe uh, more bling for those of you that bling. But for me, this is fine. I don't bling. So, that is it for this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. If you didn't, give a thumbs down. But please tell why you did not enjoy it. Okay? See you next time. Have a good one, guys.